to be trodden on, hit, run over and reversed on repeatedly by a train, truck and bicycle. That's what it felt like. I became numb to feeling. This needed time to My think. heart turned to stone. I stopped eating. Eyes glazed over. I just hurted. I had friends. But it just seemed better to keep everyone at a distance. I just needed time to think. He was a dickhead. Well, I think that now, but at the time he was the best thing that ever was. Cheating, infidelity. It's probably the lowest form of human activity. It was with my best friend too. My room became my sanctuary. There was something safe about the right-hand corner of my room. I used to sit there in the dark, crouched in a fetal position, and just cry. And sob until I'd fall asleep in the hope that I would wake up and just forget everything. That it'd just go away. I recently read something that said, when you make someone else the problem, you give them power over you. You can never change them, but you can change yourself. I realized that somehow, in all my self-pity, I'd lost some part of my humanity. I'd become a sad creature whose existence revolved around the past, around past events and people whom I had no power over. All I had was the now and the future. It was necessary to give expression to these feelings of hurt, not to keep them pent up inside. So I tore up a lot of things, sent abusive text messages. That didn't really work. And then I started to write. To begin with, I just write words. Hate, pain, love, purity, freedom, wisdom, tree, flower, box, cup, clock, polish, makeup, candle. I would do this for hours. And slowly sentences and paragraphs started to emerge. Fragments of feelings, packages of emotion. I wrote a piece about him, the dickhead that is. I showed it to my brother a year or so later. He said the anger and it scared him. It was an anger that I no longer carried within myself. An anger, a hurt, an experience which I had let go of and transferred onto paper. 